Many people have challenges and fears they strive in overcoming. It's precisely those things that hold us back from pursuing our goals and dreams. Do you think you're the only one? I'm about to share with you. Hey, what's up guys? I'm in Tumblecuff here, as you can notice. I'm in familiar territory in my car, running some errands right now. Um, also, another thing you might notice is that I'm not wearing a hat, which I'm usually wearing a hat. Um, no episode yesterday, no vlog. Um, been tied up with a couple projects and some hard deadlines that I needed to crank out and quite honestly between shooting new footage and taking time to edit I just was unable to throw up a new vlog uh, although yesterday uh, my son got his first haircut yesterday which was really exciting um, got some footage in this vlog about that uh, that was pretty exciting so <clears throat> what I want to talk about in this vlog is challenges and fears uh, you know I think Particularly from a business standpoint, there's always challenges and there's always fears. I think a lot of people are afraid to fail. And what, I, what they don't realize is that failure is just a part of business. Especially if you're an entrepreneur, you have to get comfortable with failure and understand that you're going to probably fail before you succeed. Because... By not failing means that you have it all figured out and a lot of people don't have it figured out. That's precisely why you fail. So how do you get over challenges? How, how do you get, get over such challenges of failure? Well, sometimes you just have to go for it. You have to try it. You know, you have to be open-minded, optimistic and welcoming those challenges because you never know. You might be able to harness that challenge and overcome it and turn into nothing more than a good learning lesson so I think having optimism in terms of challenges is probably a key factor to continue being optimistic and be able to overcome those challenges now fear on the other hand uh, you're always going to have fear you know that is something that you have to factor in but how do you overcome fear you know as a former introvert Fear was something that was constantly on my mind, you know? But the one thing that I had to realize real quick is just that you're always better off trying than not trying at all. Because at least by trying, you know whether or not you're able to overcome that fear. And I think that's probably one of the key rules that a lot of people miss is when it comes to fear, fear they're unwilling to try. They are unwilling to test. They're unwilling to step outside of their comfort zone and attempt to overcome that challenge or that fear. You know, this is particularly true. I, I'm the one to speak of that because last year when I ventured out, it was around April or May, and I talked about this a little bit in a prior episode, when I ventured out to, to start Razor Sharp Digital, which is a startup digital agency, 
You know, I, I, I had so many challenges and fears in that I had no upfront capital, I had no venture capital, I had to raise no money. So this was all basically a matter of pure passion and building a business because I was led to believe that I could help people differently, in a different way. The way I executed was different than everyone else. So there really wasn't even a cohesive business plan for that matter. And there they really still isn't. So those were my challenges. My fear was failure. It was probably my biggest fear. Uh, in addition to the fact that I have a family, I have a mortgage to pay, I have car payments being the, the primary uh, income a householder also. Um, head of household, I think is the right term that I was thinking of. You know, those were the fears that, that I had. And the realization that I made is that I had two choices. is one, not trying at all and abandoning the ship and going back to the nine to five gig. Or two was for once stepping outside of my comfort zone and trying something new. So this is really where Razor Sharp Digital came about, formed as a business entity, registering my LLC, and basically going in a pursuit of trying to build a business. So that is proof that I think anybody is capable of overcoming challenges in business, fears in business, and entrepreneurship, but you have to have the will and the optimism to be able to do that because at the end of the day nobody is going to do it for you you are the only person who is going to be able to fulfill that need that want that passion that commitment that you've set for yourself and a lot of people i think especially new entrepreneurs are led to believe that someone is going to do it for them and that's just not how it works that's what i wanted to say about that um you know, you need to have a sense of optimism. Um, you need to be a risk taker because in entrepreneurship specifically, you are constantly taking risks. Um, there really are no guarantees, if you ask me. And of course, you gotta have a little bit of luck. Uh, luck definitely helps, especially when you're trying to overcome challenges and fears. And those are really the two contingencies, I think, that are prohibiting a lot of people from being pursuant of the things that they want to do in life is they face challenges and fears that they are either unwilling or incapable of overcoming. So let that serve as a lesson. Let that simmer in and think about it a little bit. That was kind of the goal behind this episode is I really wanted to tackle those two things is talk about the challenges and the fears and relate that to entrepreneurship, a business, and life.